What's up, YouTube and Intro? Well, if you already know who I am, 100 Intro Media Gaming, man. How you feeling this Monday? Shoot, I can't get ready to get home and get back on them sticks, but I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, we didn't have one last week, but hopefully we'll have one this week. That is the Heroic Vibration Podcast on my channel, hosted by Triple Cup Chuck. He always up. Savage. Uh, Chaos. Miss Rogue. And Flip Money and Me. Talking about video games, comic books, DC, Marvel, TV shows, movies. So check that out. 6 Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Thursdays. And then next you can go check out. You know what I'm saying? GRG, hosted by Kate Megan. And the homies, you know, liven it up. I always throw in a ranch or two. He don't never catch it. I told him I wasn't going to do it last week. I was like, I was tired and I just threw a ranch. And some, but, you know, it's funny games. We're here to entertain. To so go check it out. One of the best gaming podcasters that's out there. Shout out to El Boogie that came through this week. Dealing with our chaos. But uh let's get with this man. This it's a game that has taken my life in a, a wee. I haven't played anything else since it came out last Thursday night. When I said it, I haven't played no Madden, I haven't played no Gears, I haven't played no Forza, I haven't played no Borderlands that I just maxed myself on, got me a cold set with. I'm calling this the underrated game of the generation. Because nobody wasn't on nobody's gaming radar. You know it wasn't. Um, we call it the Outer Worlds. This game of City in, they did their thing. Phil, the Xbox team, you guys did a great job of bringing them into the Xbox gaming family. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait for everything. If they did this on their own. Do something. Yeah, so that game is off the chain. Uh, wow, like I said, I'm sitting in the office and I'm like, I can't wait to get to the house to play it. Uh, like I'm level 20. Like this is my actually a screenshot of me playing. I'm level 19. I have my two companions. The game story is off the chain. Uh, different choices. Uh, me and Flip was talking yesterday he got another person that I haven't even ran into yet and I had people like where you get the black girl with the dreads I saw I met her on the planet you know what I'm saying and she's supposed to hook me up with a with a back trace to somebody to find somebody oh uh, man the side mission is crazy I'm telling you guys you want to level up and get some good stuff play those side missions before you go into the main mission uh the beginning of the game they do make you do some side missions just to move on because you might need a part for your ship. I wish you could have named your ship. You could have named your ship. You know what I'm saying? It would be crazy. Oh, man. This is underrated game of the generation. Hands down. I can't put it down. Not going to put it down. The first night I played it to 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to go take an Advil PM just to go to sleep. Got right back up. Brushed my teeth. Watched my face and was back on the Outer Worlds. The only time I didn't play it, I watched my Raiders. Damn, we lost. And then I was watching them Lakers. You know, that's the only time I took a break. I jumped on the sticks. I had to get off the sticks last night because I had to go to sleep because I had to get them into the office in the morning. But like I said, the story, the gameplay, um, the dynamics, the different, um, well, I can't say, the different armor. You got to repair your armor. You have to also repair your weapons. I tell people, if you got a weapon you're not using, just break it down. So you don't have to go and have somebody repair your weapons. No, you can have them already. Like I said, I didn't sit there and make, got myself a master's degree on Outer Worlds. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the Outer Worlds. I have a master's degree in it because I sit there, break down it like a shotgun. I'm telling you how to, to work it. You know. Knock out side missions, for for main missions, break down stuff that you don't need, even your armor, break it down. You know what I'm saying? The guns is off the chain. Got the I got I mean I remember the first time when I got the little um I got these uh what do you call that grenade launcher but it shoot out um pink pink balls of fire. 
and you see the enemies just run. I got enemies running from me now. I have level 50, I think about four out of six columns. That's how I've been getting down. So at the level 50, you got you can go to different ones. Like if I want to, my melee is up to level 50. So now I can have it where I just want to concentrate on one hand. If I got a sword, they got different swords. Man, I had a sword like I was in Star Star uh, Wars and shit. I had another one like a baton. It had a big old drill on it. I was just drilling. I'd be beating them down. The animals are crazy on the planets. The colors um, of the game is crazy sometimes it looks a little like no man's sky did you go into and you're going into a uh asteroid where they're terraforming it for people to live in um i like it everyone's not going to have the same story my man flip let somebody die and i just i gave him another choice i said you can get the easy way the hard way you can either walk or you can walk out you're gonna walk out of here either way you, you I'm, I'm getting you out of office and I, I said you can walk with your life or I'm gonna take your life so uh, I had to make a hard decision with two factions I tried to bring them together and one faction said hell no I didn't believe they should have that type of power um, so I said when they come together um, I have did that with a couple of other factions that's how deep this game is where I just didn't pick a side and bring them together. I might go talk to another person on their end and get another their end and have them have a seat at the table. Like I'm feeling like I'm in a sci-fi movie. But if you ain't picked up Outer Wilds, Outer Worlds, I don't know why I'm calling it Outer Wilds, Outer Worlds, you need to try it, pick it up. It's in Game Pass. You know what I'm saying? If you're an Xbox Game Pass owner, you also can purchase it if you want to. $59.99 on PlayStation. I believe it's on PC and it's coming out on the Switch. This game is, I, I'm calling it a masterpiece. Because it's not a game. Usually when a game gets me locked in like that and that's all I play, that means it's a hell of a good ass game. So for right now, I'm giving it a 9. I don't give nothing no 10. I'll give it a 9. I'm telling you, this is the underrated shocker game of the year. Like I say, if you see me on Xbox Live, that's all you're going to see me is playing Outer Worlds. Outer Worlds. That's all I've been playing. That's all I'm gonna, I don't even know how many hours i got into that game. Only time I take the break, like I say, man, I got to go get a fifth. Go get me some water or something. Eat, look for a second, and I'm right back on it because it immerses me into their world. And like I said, it's one of the best storytelling games in, in a while. I think the best storytelling games where you pick like that was like the Knights of the Old Republic. But this is your boy, Mr. Keep It A Buck, 100 Intro Media Game. You know, let me get ready, get about to get out of here in a shoot in about an hour and some change. Go sit in this damn traffic. But uh, I'm gonna go catch that Watchmen while I'm driving. I'm gonna watch that Watchmen. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that shows off the chain. But uh, we're going to need that for a whole world vibration podcast. This is your boy, Mr. Keep It Above 100. Go play that out of worlds. It'll change your life.